how did my name come up in conversation regarding the, the score for the movie? Okay. When Sony picked up the rights to the film, that was like one of the first conversations that we had. So we were still in the, like only two months into production at that time. And so then, yeah, they kind of sent us a list and obviously your name cropped up. And so we were really happy then when the footage finally got sent to you that you responded to. I know about your background from Linkin Park, but what was it that made you want to actually go off and do film score? Oh, that was really um, the, the rep from Sony who called us, said, um, here are a couple examples of your own work that we heard and we think would fit really well. And the three things they listed were my Fort Minor record and the and two remixes that I had done. And all three of those things I did completely for fun. We had that complete freedom and the creative process yeah. on them as well. So I thought, well, if, they, if what they want is what I naturally do just for fun, mm -hmm. then maybe this is going to be a really fun project. Is there like a specific scene or a, or a specific track that you guys are kind of like most proud of in the film then? You know, there were a few, there were a few scenes that um, we attacked early. And like the drug lab scene was one. The alarm scene when the SWAT team is first, like, yeah. you know, revealed to be in the building and, and the spotters hit the alarm. If we could get those right, then it was going to be one of the most challenging scenes. If we could do that, then we could do anything True. in the movie. True. Were there any cues that, that we did for the raid that when you finally heard them, you went, that is like really close to what I imagined it being. But the one thing I actually really love most is actually the final fight. And you do this really interesting sort of like percussion piece on there. It kind of links to the way we do music for Silat in demonstrations in Indonesia too, where it's like the percussion is kind of almost goes along with the movement of the, the fight scenes end. So like each block, each hit has a certain sort of like a exclamation point. And that was something I really loved about that. And then the way it built and built and built. Like, I, I don't know about those demonstrations, but what yeah. I do know, what that reminded me of is every year um, for um, New Year's Day, in, in Little Tokyo here, I'm half Japanese, okay. in, in Little Tokyo they do uh, like a celebration, and part of that celebration is they do, you know, uh, karate, they yeah. do kendo, they do taiko drums, mm -hmm. and they do, they mix all that stuff together, and whenever they do it, there's always music playing and yeah. stuff. There's a lot going on, and I, I think, just thinking back about the piece, I think it has a little bit to do with that. Yeah, yeah Like yeah. there's something about the the fighting form feels very like natural, mm -hmm. and then the music feels very organic and natural. But then we mashed it up with some super digital stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's what I liked about it is that you kind of have this like traditional element to it, but then it's, it's modernized too. Yeah. And it's like a mix of different styles, mix of different influences. So. Well, I'm glad you liked it. <laughs>